Only thing certain in life is uncertainty. We congratulate the new chairman and CEO of CNN News Group, Walter Isaacson. He's at headquarters in Atlanta. He was most recently the editorial director of Time Incorporated. Before we talk about the post and your, your taking of it, what do you make of this Condit story as a story? You know, look, news comes in all different formats. Things that touch our hearts, touch our minds, hit on our fears and things. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a summer news story. I think uh, if there were other major news breaking, it wouldn't be playing as big. But it's a perfectly valid story because, you know, it's a, it's a type of thing that people care about. And whatever people are talking about, if we can shed light on it, that's what the news is. You've covered politicians for years. Why are they always hesitant to come forward when something breaks? You know, I think it's in the nature of politics to spin. <laughs> It's in the nature of politics to try to create illusions. People who want to be on stage, people whose ego is sort of this strange mix of strong ego but also insecurity. I guess you find that a lot in politics. I remember when I first started at Time Magazine, I'm going to tell a story about when I first met you, Larry. I was covering politics out of the Washington Bureau, covering the two most interesting people of the time, Ronald Reagan and Ted Kennedy. And that was back in 1979, and you had a talk radio show after midnight out of Alexandria, Correct. Virginia. Remember that? And I used to come over to your studio then, try to get people to talk about politics. Every now and then we'd talk about football, and your uh, telephone lines would light up. But you, you were know, a politicians regular. were a strange breed. Politicians are an interesting breed, and uh, they're larger than life, and sometimes uh, their sins are larger than life. Why have you made this uh, change? How did it come about to leave? You're, you're, a, you're a print guy. I mean, you've made many appearances on the broadcast. You're a print guy all your life, written books. Why this? Well, all my life, what I've really been is a journalist. Ever since back in the days when I was growing up in New Orleans, when I was uh, in my first job in New Orleans at the stateside in Pine City and covering police headquarters and then City Hall, I really like journalism, which means hard reporting telling a story, trying to be honest in your reporting, and trying to be fair, understanding what people were talking about at the dinner table, and seeing if you get more factual on that. I like journalism, and I believe that journalism really should be at the core of what CNN does. And sometimes, you know, in cable news, all that sort of thing, we lose sight of what is the real calling. Why are we really here? There are a lot of good TV people here at CNN. There's Bill Kent, Ethan Jordan, Amy Kellner, people like you, Wendy Whitworth, your producer. They all know TV. What I hope to bring is to instill the sense of mission that if we get our facts right and we report good and interesting stories, journalism can be a good thing. And so I guess I'm coming here as a journalist, right? Is it uh, this change in your life? You're going from living in New York to living in Atlanta. That's a big difference. You're, you're replacing someone who was enormously popular, Tom Johnson, who was retired. Yeah, Tom is a great guy. I mean, a man of enormous integrity and honor and uh, brought great honor to this business. I was with him tonight here in Atlanta. We had a little party for him. Ted Turner, the visionary who founded this network, was there. But I looked at the shoes of Tom Johnson and realized it's going to take a whole lot of us to really fulfill that mandate and the legacy that uh, CNN brings to this world, not just in America. How about living in Atlanta? Hey, I'm a southerner. I like it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're a New Orleans boy. Well, man, my wife, Kathy, was down here today, and uh, we were looking at an apartment. I'll be up in New York a lot, too, because a lot of the shows that we have come out of New York, so I'll be uh, shuttling back and forth. But, you know, by the way, if you grew up in New Orleans, and you spend summer in New Orleans, you don't think it's hot in Atlanta in the summer. So I can really survive this July and August in Atlanta. Was there a tough time making this decision after, you know, with you and with time, a lot of years? Not really. It's the best, it's the best selling job in the world, Larry. Being able to take CNN, you know, which everywhere you go to every corner of this planet. I mean, I have sat there in hotel rooms in Bratislava, Watching young kids go into the foreign hotel so they can watch CNN and watch what was happening as communism was falling, and it was inspiring. And I've been in Kashgar, in the Gobi Desert, and watching kids call up CNN.com because they want information, and they realize that free and honest information in this world is what's going to spread democracy and spread freedom, and that's what CNN stands for. And uh, Nobody in his right mind who loves journalism would give up the opportunity to say, hey, I can help here. Congratulations, Walter. We look forward to seeing lots of you. It's been great having you as a friend all these years working with you. Now it's going to be great to work directly with you.
Thank you, Widow, for me on your show again. But you can was, be on. It was nice of you and Wendy to have me <laughs> back tonight. And it'll be nice to see you. I uh, hope in California day after tomorrow. When I'm I'll get over. There. I'll come by and say hello. Thanks, Walter. Great. Thank you, Larry. Walter Isaacson, we thank our panel earlier. We remind you that tomorrow night, Bill Bennett will be with us to discuss what's happened to the morals in America and what's going on with elected officials and interns. Bill Bennett, tomorrow night on Larry King Live. We thank all of our guests tonight. Stay tuned for CNN Tonight. Good night. Partner Bernard Shaw. So I just.